Here are some tips on how to grow Drosera capensis in winter. I believe that most people generally grow Drosera capensis. Binata. Adelie. But. Depending on which of these three species you buy, the way to grow them is different. In this article, I will introduce how to grow these three types of Drosera in winter. These three species of Drosera are divided into two types. Temperate and Tropical. The tropical type is Capensis, Adelie, and the temperate type is Binata. The tropical species Capensis, Adelie is a Drosera found in the tropics of South Africa and Northern Australia. This species grows year-round in warm environments. The temperate Binata is found in Western and Southern Australia and New Zealand. It winters in cold weather. Tropical Capensis and Adelie are best in winter with a heated greenhouse. But if you grow them inside your house like I do, no problem. I would love to have a nice greenhouse someday. Binata, like Venus flytrap and Saracenia, will go dormant in the cold. So I can keep it outside all year round. Here is the solution to Drosera's problem. Drosera does not produce mucus. It is due to lack of sunlight. You can try to put it on a sunny windowsill or put it outside and expose it to enough sunlight. Winter watering. If Drosera is dead in winter, this is called dormancy. Put in water even when it is in a dormant state. Winter repotting. Repot in January to February when the weather gets colder. Although Drosera is the same, the method of growing Drosera in different native habitats is different. This is a difficult task, but I think it is one of the interesting aspects of Drosera. Please check out this video for the past videos of Drosera.